Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Ok guys, welcome back. I'm gonna put the vectors link in my description below. You can check it from there. Ok now, first let's make a ball for our animation. Let's go to here or you can press Q for that and select the ellipse tool. And now let's create a ball. Let's hold shift and create like this. Ok nice and go to select tool and let's put it like this. Ok nice and let's move it to the down. And now I have a basketball texture. I'm gonna use it on my ball. And let's paste it to here and Let's select the shape layer and duplicate it with Ctrl D and move it to the up and select this texture, go to here and select the alf matte. Ok nice and now select this texture, press S, let's change the scale and let's move it to here. Let's go to solo and see all of it, ok nice, let's change the scale again, ok this one is good. And let's go down solo, our ball is down and let's delete this ball. Now let's select this shape layer 1 and let's go to pen behind and hold control and double click here. Ok as you see the anchor point is in the center now. And now let's give animation to our character. Let's first select this hand and go to solo. Let's go to pen behind and move the anchor point here. And select this part. Let's move the anchor point here and this one, let's move it to here. Now let's go down solo and let's go to the window and let's go to Duik Angela. If you don't have Duik Angela you can check my description below, I have video about how to get it. Now let's select our hand layers, go to links and constraints and select the auto rig and then press ignore. Ok nice, I think it's done. Yeah, alright, now let's select the hand left and go to pen behind and go to solo, let's move the anchor point here and now let's go to puppet pin or you can press ctrl p for that, let's make puppets for it, like that and now let's select the old puppets and then go to add pins and click ignore again. Ok, and select this pin 3, let's link it to pin 2, and select this pin 2, let's link it to pin 1, and select this pin 1, let's link it to body, and select this all 3 pins, go to auto rig, and click ignore again, ok nice, and now let's go to unsolo, ok it's working. Let's close the Duik Angela window because we will not use it anymore. And now let's select this body. Let's go to solo and go to pen behind. Let's move the anchor point to down. And select this neck. Let's move the anchor point to down again. And head. Let's move it to here. And now select this head. Let's link it to neck and link neck to body. Now select this eyes, nose, eyebrows, hair, ear and mouth and link them to head. Let's close hand left and also let's select this hand layer, let's link it to body. Let's select the body to check it. Alright, now select this our texture, let's go to FX press heads, let's search for reptile and let's add it to here and change the Expand right sides. Let's hold shift and move to the right. And let's see it. Ok nice. It will give a fake 3D animation. Ok now let's give animation to our hand. Let's rename it to right hand controller. And this one to left hand controller. And now let's select the right hand controller. Let's press P make position keyframe, let's move it to down a little bit, like that, and go to 10 keyframe, for that you can use hold shift and page down, 
and let's move it to up and then go 10 keyframe again let's copy the first keyframe and control v select the keyframes and make them easy or you can press f9 okay it's a little bit slow let's hold alt and move to left let's check it nice and now select these two layers let's link it to shape layer 1 and change this layer name to ball and now select this ball press p make position keyframe and let's move it to down like this and let's go to here let's move it to up and now go to this keyframe like this press here and go to 10 keyframe let's copy the first keyframe and control v now select keyframes and make them easy see okay and now select these two keyframes go to graph editor let's change the graph like this okay nice and select these ones as well Let's make the graph like that. Let's see. Nice. And now select the keyframes and hold out. Let's move to right. Okay, select this keyframe. Let's move to the left. Nice. And now select this texture. Let's press P. Let's go to this keyframe and make position keyframe. Let's go to here and change the position like this. Now select the keyframes and make them easy. Let's see it now. Okay, select this layer and let's change the expand up as well. And now go to here. Let's move it like that. Now let's see. Let's change it like this. Okay, now let's check it again. Let's select these ball layers and select the first keyframe. Let's move it to right. Let's see now. Okay. And now let's make our work area like this. Let's check it. Let's see. Now let's select the last two keyframes called Graph Editor. Let's change the graph like this. Let's see. And select these two keyframes move to left and this one to right let's see let's move this one to here and this one like this let's see as you see there is some problem this is the first keyframe to fix that let's move it to here Let's see now. Okay, this one is good. And now let's select our body and press P, make position keyframe. Let's move our body to down and go this keyframe. Let's move it to up and go again this keyframe. Let's copy the first keyframe and control V and make them easy. Let's check it. Okay, let's select keyframes and let's move to left a little bit. Let's see. Okay, it's a good bounce animation. And as you see, when it jumps, there is some problem. Let's fix it with shape layer. Let's go to shape and create a rectangle tool. And select this field. Let's copy the this color and click OK. Let's make a rectangle like this. And now double click to pan behind, 
move tanker point to the center. Now let's move it to up like this. Okay, nice. And now select the shape layer. Let's link it to body. Now let's see. Alright. And now let's give animation to our head. Let's select this head. Go to first second and press R. Make rotation keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe with holding shift and page down. Let's change the rotation to minus 6. Or maybe minus 9. Okay, now select the keyframes and make them easy ease. And then go to this keyframe. Let's make a set keyframe for head. And go to the end. Let's make it 0. Let's check it. Okay, it's a little bit slow. Uh, let's move this keyframe to the right. Let's check now. Okay, nice. And now let's make animation to our eyes. Let's go to here and press S. Let's make scale keyframe and click here. Let's go to three keyframe with pressing page down. One, two, three. And let's change this one to 20 and go to three keyframe again. Let's change it to 100. And select keyframes. Let's make them easiest. See? Let's move these keyframes to here. Let's see. And select the eyebrows. Let's press P, make position keyframe. And go to here. Let's move the eyebrows to up. And then go to here. Let's select the eyes keyframes and copy here. And make set keyframe for eyebrows. And then go to the last keyframe. Let's copy this first keyframe and control V. Select the keyframes and make them easy. Let's see. And also let's select eyes. Hold shift and press P. Make position keyframe. Go to here. Let's move them like this. And go to these keyframes, make static keyframe for position. And go to the last keyframe, copy this first keyframe. And make them easy. Let's see. Okay, let's select this eyebrows position keyframes. Let's move them to right. And select this keyframe, let's copy this one as well. Let's see. And now as you can see there is some problem when ball goes up. So to fix that, let's select these ball layers and let's move them to up. Let's see now. Okay, nice. And now go to the first second. Let's select left hand controller. Press P, make position keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe. Let's move it to down a little bit. And then go to 10 keyframe again. Let's copy the first keyframe and control V. Select the keyframes, make them easy. And let's copy the keyframes and control V. Now let's see it. Okay, it's a little bit so fast. Let's go to here and delete these last two keyframes and select keyframes and hold out. Let's move to the right. Let's check it now. Okay, nice. And now let's close these all keyframes. For that, press Ctrl A and then press U. And let's click here. Okay, nice. And now let's give animation to our background layers. Let's select them and go to FX presets. Let's search for wiggle. And let's add wiggle position. And let's see. Okay, and let's select this layer. 
Let's change the vehicle amount to 30 and select the second layer. Let's make it 40 and this one let's make it 26. Let's see. Okay, nice. And by the way, if you want to download the project files, I will add the link in my description below. You can check it from there. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe channel and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.